Welcome back everybody to another Glios toy review. Today we are looking over the brand new O'Neill drop that just came out a couple weeks ago. But I've only got one figure from the drop this time around. I had to cut back on my glass spending a little bit so I had to really budget myself this time. There was one figure in particular that I absolutely had to get and that is what we're going to be taking a peek at today and I am talking about the cow's armor. Super excited for this new glass that just came out. Can't wait to look at it. This is mainly Toy Pizza's product and Matt from O'Neill Designs also helped and collaborated on this one. So he was able to include it in his drop. Let me tell you, I've been getting teased for the last two, three months from Toy Pizza. They've had a lot of exclusive like proto molds and first edition type cow's armors. You had to be like a paying member and things like that. So it wasn't just available to the wide open public. But the stuff I've been seeing from other people like on Instagram and the pictures they've been taking has been just stunning. This guy looks super, super dope. And since Matt collaborated, he was able to put it on his wave this time around, his own colorway for the cow's armor, and it looks freaking sweet, man. I cannot wait to show this one off to you. I want to say, however, since I only have one figure from the drop this time around, I really want to highlight the rest of the wave and the drop that just came out on the O'Neill store. You can check out all the different figures right here. There's some really, really dope ones. I even had to pass up on the Armivore, which looks incredible too. We've got the Delphi. We've got all sorts of stuff. We got the Cray booths. They look super, super cool. I really want to highly suggest that everybody go support Matt and the O'Neill site. The links are in the description and they're also going to be on the screen here go get some of these guys they look absolutely phenomenal i don't want you guys to miss out on any of them they are going to slowly start disappearing from the store over the next few weeks so go grab them while they're still there in any case the one figure i did get in from that drop is right here in this package i just got it in let's go check this guy out there we go let's get the package in here let's rip it open get our singular figure out here it is let's see oh i see other stuff in here did he include something else in here oh my gosh he gave me a stowaway cray booth i was not expecting a stowaway since i only got one thing usually i i thought they only included these stowaways when uh you get like more items but holy crap i got a stowaway that is excellent let's open him up he is the same colorway as the cow's armor which is sick check that out so the Relgost Cray booth, I think is what this guy would be called. Pretty dope. Thank you, O'Neill, for the little freebies. I love me the Cray booths. But now we can check out this crazy mother effer, the cow's armor, the Relgost Fugitive. This is the banger, banger colorway for this guy. Let's open him up. Let's pull this guy out, see all the different things that come with him. Oh, he's got very similar like Kabuto Mushi feet if you see that okay you do get a very toy pizza-esque head it's very clean very nice so a regular type head backpack there's the backpack we'll slap on the figure itself we do get an extra headpiece like an extra little helmet headpiece it's very cool it's got like this little nice like kind of gundam-esque design and then the laser cannon which looks excellent i'm gonna throw it on the hand here because this looks sick oh look at that it's even got that interesting point of articulation and that's the part of the articulation that's so interesting see that it's got like that bendability thing right here it's a different kind of piece this is more like the knights of the slice type style uh, i think they use these types before in their products look at him though holy cow he's got like some samus metroid vibes and he's got all these crazy alien looking beefy shoulder pads they all have this look at that Look at that. Oh man, that up down on the shoulder pads looks excellent. Oh, well it came right off, but that's okay. You can kind of check out how it works, how it operates a bit. It's a little tight, that's okay, you know? I'd rather have it be tight than broken. All the joints act in this way. We've got, you know, knee joints, the little ankle joints. It's so cool. This is something about Toy Pizza that I've always liked and wanted to get, but I just haven't picked up a really good figure from them yet. I would like to in the future, but you can get so many, so many crazy stances from this dude. I mean, already you can just see, bang, look at that. Boom. That's so sick. Sidekick a guy. Look at, oh, look at. Would you look at that? <laughs> yeah, well. Would you look at that? Yeah, there's just car, look at the it. The car is not perfect. Just look <laughs> at it. Just like how dynamic this guy can get. Ah, oh, it's so cool. Let me just take a closer look at the head as well, because we didn't get a really nice close-up of that. Look at how nice that is, right? Let's take another zoom in. There we go. Ooh, I love the pink and teal that he did on this colorway. It looks absolutely incredible. But come on, man, this is just 
oh, check out that hand. The hand can hold some very cool weaponry and stuff like that. It's going to be really neat. In fact, I have some weaponry here. Let me pull this out. I've got this little weapon piece. Let me slide that in and see how they hold just another random piece here. There we go very easily kind of check it out a little bit with that i mean give this guy a sword he will look incredible Whew. that's so sick absolutely love that but i do want to pop this arm off oh look at that that arm pops off in this way that is interesting pop the cannon on because the cannon just looks excellent like you can just get him going with this cannon and it looks really sick again you got that very metroid samus-esque type cannon going on where it's just the whole freaking arm this guy just looks incredible in any pose you put him in like you can just do all sorts of stuff and he's just gonna look sick as can be look at that i mean come on you can just angle him any way you want you're gonna get something that this looks super ba and awesome couple different rotatable parts on the actual body and like hips which is very nice you can get all sorts of very cool movement in that let's check out the back as well here's a very detailed back it's got a lot of really nice textures going on just like the mangalores speaking of mangalores i'll actually get one out here and we can kind of compare the size difference give me a mangalore ba bang there we go so mangalores are a bit bigger even still but just look at how cool these guys are together that's going to be dope. Combine parts with this guy. This guy has such, oh man, high compatibility with combining. Like you can throw on so many cool things. Obviously Glyos is for that, for combining and making your own cool things. But this guy's just got something about him that you could slap on so many pieces and get so many cool, unique looks. I mean, any headpiece is going to look freaking dope on this. Oh, let's put the backpack on. We didn't even put the backpack on this guy yet. There we go. All right, backpack is on. Now we've got the whole figure up and running. You can get very natural stances with this too because of all those joint pieces. The knees and the ankles really give some elegance to the feet and like walking and standing poses helps it out a ton with that now i'm going to pop off the head i do want to see some of the other head options that we got going on here i'm curious about oh okay the head goes on like that all right interesting this part has to pop off and not the neck part so can we do that ouch so you can see the neck joint is like this it's got that kind of ball jointed part that the heads will plug into and then the connector bit will just go right here in the chest now we've got this we can plug in the head right on top of it snug as a bug i do not want to break this guy obviously but there we go we've got just the normal cool kind of human head thing going i would say i do prefer it with the helmet but it's still pretty dope it's a nice looking head like i said it's still well designed let's pop on the other one here bang look at that okay i like the visor going on this thing it looks very sweet get a little zoom in here on that very nice very nice something about the original helmet though that just looks so so cool if we can get a closer there we go i mean something about that just looks so dope though i think i'm only going to use that one these are really nice but uh th that first one is just still my favorite so we'll keep that one plugged in there we go that's better oh yeah that looks sick i know i'm saying a lot but man just the amount of posability is incredible on this dude absolutely love it this is more of like your super posable action figure it's quite different from your normal Goliath thing but i mean check that out right you can get some wires on this guy and just take some absolutely stunning shooting pictures he's just flying back just bang get that all in the angles just looks incredible i'm about to do that i'm about to pick some freaking dope pictures make sure to follow me on my instagram as well lockdown 51 i take glass pictures all the time toy photography is one of my other hobbies so go check out the stuff i will be posting there definitely going to get some dope shots of this dude i don't even there's so many possibilities what is my thumbnail going to be man is it this is it this is it that who knows so happy about getting this cray booth too that is just an excellent little bonus what else is there to do except have fun posing this guy absolutely incredible job by onel and toy pizza 10 out of 10 obviously i don't think you can give them anything but that 
It just looks so, so sick. We'll add our little Cray booth back in there and I will flash all the links up. Go support Toy Pizza, go support O'Neill once again. Click, click, click. Smashing results from the Gao's armor. It's so incredible. Looking forward to seeing more. Wow, that is an absolutely incredible Goliath's achievement, in my opinion. I mean, these creators right now have just been pushing the boundaries of Glyos creation, what can be done to the absolute max. It's been so cool to see. This one is just next level, obviously, and I can't wait to see what other colorways they do with this guy. Again, go check out Toy Pizza. They actually did just have two colorways that I missed. I like never miss these things, and I missed a drop where they had two colorways, a beautiful pearl cow's armor, and they also had a black one. They look super dope, but of course they're sold out already. I just wanted to show them off and show you that Toy Pizza's been pumping these guys out so you don't want to miss the new stuff they've got coming so make sure you go support them as well follow them on the socials because that's what I've been doing and I don't want to miss any more in the future. I know we only had one figure today and the video was a little bit shorter but if you watched all the way to the end I really appreciate it. Please make sure to support the channel by subscribing, click the like button, and leave a comment below of what you would want to see for the next color wave for this armor. Until then, have yourselves a great rest of the week and we will catch you guys in the next Glyos Toy Review video.